just slipped a nice big California toad under a rock. First find of the day. I'm not going to bug him too much though. Alright. Now I just flipped this nice little Gilbert skink. These guys are super cool. Um, they're very similar to the Skelton's skinks that I've shown in uh, a couple of my previous videos. Um, one notable difference though, as you might be able to tell, is that uh, the juveniles of this species have a nice bright pink tail <laughs> instead of the blue tail of the Skelton skink. And um, just as in the Skelton skink, the color on the tail will fade as the animal ages. But it's really pretty. So I've featured these guys before, but here's a look at a nice adult male. It's very obvious coloration. This is a western fence lizard, of course. That is a big toad. <laughs> Look at the size of that guy. This is just outrageously beautiful. Look at that. It's about that time when you start seeing Pacific newts out and about on the crawl. This is a California newt, Tarika terosa. Nice big pretty one here. <laughs> he froze when he saw me. Such beautiful colors. There's a big female. Seems to be gravid, full of eggs. If you can see, but right in the middle of the screen, there's a pair of Santa Cruz aquatic garter snakes that are mating. And, uh, so I'm being really quiet and I'm not getting too close because I don't want to disturb them. But that's really cool. Okay, got a little bit of a better zoom. I believe that's the female with the head up higher, and the smaller male with his head on her coil. What a cool observation. This uh, western fence lizard is really hoping I'm not seeing him right now. If uh, he really thought that I saw him, he'd probably run. So, it seems pretty likely this is one of the members of the pair I saw earlier. Nearby where I saw them again. This is pretty cool. We have a northern alligator lizard here. And uh, generally, I see southern alligator lizards. And that's the only alligator lizard species that I've uh, shown in my videos before. So it's cool to see this other species. And, and release him exactly where he was. So, I'm in uh, Santa Cruz County again, and I just came across this uh, Coast Garter Snake. 
which is a subspecies of the uh, Western terrestrial garter snake, Namnophis elegans. It can be a little bit difficult to tell apart from the aquatic garter snake, especially when they're smaller like this. Um, we can see the kind of orange flecks on this guy. That's a feature of the coast garter snake. And they have that orange to red coloration in varying degrees. Some of them have very prominent stripes or patches of red or orange coloration. This one, that's not very notable. When they're young like this, it's uh, not very obvious, but um, the upper labial scales are the scales that line the upper lip. Um, they tend to become enlarged towards the around the eye of the terrestrial garter snake. Um, but that usually becomes more prominent as they age. This is actually my first uh, Damnophis elegans of the year, so good to see. I'd like to show the release. It's kind of one of the best parts. Uh, really beautiful juvenile skeleton skink basking on the trail here. And bright blue tail is an excellent predator distraction. And uh, these guys do feature the trait called caudal autotomy, which means they can detach their tail, and the tail will then writhe on the ground as the nerves continue firing for a while. And the bright coloration um, is a lot more obvious to the predator's eye than the earth-colored skink. Really cool. And here we have a really nice looking uh, coast fence lizard, which is just the local variation of the western fence lizard, Scoloporus occidentalis. This individual has a lot of blue coloration on his back. Really gorgeous.